Welcome, everyone. Here's an article I found on October 22nd that I wanted to bring to your attention. The headline, Ex-Dallas Police Officer Pleads Guilty to Fraudulent Ticket Writing Scheme to Collect Federal Grant Money. All right, well, let's go through it. A former Dallas police officer pleaded guilty on October 16th to falsifying traffic tickets in order to collect overtime pay through a program funded by a federal grant aimed at curbing fatal and serious injury crashes on Dallas roadways. Matthew Rushing, 35, pleaded guilty to one count of making a false statement in U.S. District Court in Dallas. He worked as a Dallas police officer for more than 11 years before his arrest in late June 2019. According to his plea agreement, Rushing admitted to submitting at least 38 fraud oh my gosh, 38 fraudulent officers daily grant activity reports which included citations for fictitious persons and events. Oh boy. After Mr. Rushing concluded oh, After Mr. Rushing concluded a traffic stop, he admitted he sometimes altered the violator's true identity by changing their name or date of birth, causing arrest warrants to be issued for drivers who didn't exist. Other times, rushing cited drivers for non-existent violations after they departed the scene of the incident. Court documents alleged rushing unlawfully accessed law enforcement databases to obtain the information needed and forged a violator's signature to write fake citations. Okay. Let's just skip through a little bit of this. All right, so rushing faces up to five years in federal prison. His sentences. Sentencing is set for March of 2020. I don't know why it takes so damn long to sentence people. Um, I mean, the guy's already... He's already pled guilty. Uh, this is October, so November, December. So it's five months. All right. Um, so, yeah, let me look at this dude. He created an elaborate scheme to get, what does the thing say here? Yeah, right down here. Created this elaborate scheme to get 160 hours of overtime pay. <sighs> Threw away an 11 year career with the police department for some extra overtime. And now he's facing five years in federal prison. Now, I looked at the Dallas Police Department's salary schedule, and, you know, I was able to estimate his overtime rate. And based on all that, he probably earned about $10,000 for this scheme. Five years in federal prison for $10,000. That hardly seems worth it to me. Uh, you know, I just, I don't know what people are thinking when they head down the embezzlement path. All right, so... What can we learn from this? Well, simply put, um, this is why you have strong internal controls or checks and balances over your finances and your grant programs. You know, anyone with authority to charge expenses to a grant or to your general fund or any funding source for that matter, there needs to be a system to track, review, and approve those actions, especially when employees have the potential to abuse the system like this officer did. You know, the more tickets I write, the more overtime pay I earn. Well, that right there, that's potential for abuse. You know, most, most embezzlement schemes are pretty elaborate, but this one was fairly simplistic because at first glance, it looked like you know, everything was on the up and up. 
that is, until someone or uh, maybe uh, maybe a computer system or database uh, at the Dallas Police Department discovered this officer was, you know, making up names for citations like he was Bart Simpson crank calling Moe's Tavern. You know, when you're dealing with something like traffic tickets, it doesn't take long for a fraud to be exposed. You know, once once the person in charge of preparing arrest warrants begins discovering that people don't actually exist, eyebrows are raised, questions are asked, and investigations are launched. This was not going to end well for this former police officer. I mean, come on. Making up names, unlawfully accessing databases, forging signatures, you know, he didn't he didn't really think this one through. So again, make sure your internal controls are on point and that there aren't too many I'm sorry, that there aren't there there isn't too much authority in the hands of a single person. There always needs to be checks and balances. It seems kind of the theme the theme here. And it's a good idea to test your control systems at least once per year uh, to make sure that expenses and, you know, the expense procedures are being followed correctly by all of your staff. You know, and the way, the way you test is by selecting a random sample of expenses from the past, say, 3, 6, or 12 months, whatever you think is best, and following the paper trail from the time the expense was requested to every approval step along the way until payment was authorized. You know, and it's a good way to make sure, this is a good way to make sure that written policies and procedures were followed and that nothing was sidestepped or improperly handled. Okay. Well, you know, I think that'll do it. That will be my news and commentary for the day. If you enjoyed this, feel free to like it or give it a thumbs up. And please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.